What's up guys, Trip 649 here coming at you with part 6, I say 666, six, six, I think it's 6, of the Pokemon Heart Go playthrough. And in this episode, we're going to get right into it, we're going to fight the gym. And now, the I don't, we never came in here before, but before you go into Sprout Tower, you're not able to step on this. And there's the old gym design from the original uh, Gold and Silver games, but... We're advanced here in the year 2010, and we have it like, leveled up to here, I guess. And as you can see, uh, if you're not completely blind, uh, you can actually just walk around these trainers, but I'm going to fight them because I think they're good practice for the gym leader. This guy, probably the most practice because his Pokemon actually isn't too bad. Level 9, Spiro. It's not Sparrow, it's Spiro. Look at the name. Just pronounce it the way it's supposed to be pronounced. It's not that hard. It's a children's video game. <laughs> it's Spiro. It's not Spiro. And it's, I don't know why they named it Spiro, because it's, maybe it's because it's a jagged looking bird or something. I have no idea. But, whatever. It's not too hard. We're pretty uh, leveled up compared to it, so. Pidgey's level, like, 13. And, uh... Over the break between these episodes, I've decided I'm just going to use Pidgey on my team. It's a great Pokemon to just have Fly on, Aerial Ace, whatever. So, Defog, if I don't think you have to use Defog in this game, but you can learn that. It's a good Pokemon, I think. I like Pidgey out. It's not the best out there. There's probably better Fly. I don't even know if there's better Fly. I guess there's uh, Pharaoh, and uh, let's, I'm trying to think, Noctowl. Um, that's kind of what I'm thinking of right now, but, yeah, Pidgeot, great choice if you want a flying type. I highly recommend having a flying type, always, then you don't have to waste time running back to the Pokemon Center to get a bird Pokemon out to fly, or a flying type, I hate people, people say bird Pokemon, they technically are birds, but they're not bird Pokemon, flying type Pokemon. And looks like if we knock out this Pidgey, we're going to be able to get up to level 13, which is awesome. Two half, please. Nice. That way, total down, and now you just have to hit, because freaking sand attack. And I'm going to try to talk about the, uh, the game a little bit more this time. Last episode was just kind of monotonous, just going fighting bell sprouts. So I just talked about uh, other stuff, slam so dunk contest. But this, is, I'm getting back to the Pokemon. Uh, getting into real life Pokemon stuff, if you want to go have a blast and you have a like a 3DS Pokemon game, ooh, Bite, I'm going to te definitely teach your total out Bite for Rage. But uh, if you want to go get an awesome Pokemon, go to GameStop or whatever, EB Games, or if you're in overseas from the United States, in Australia or Europe or something, and... Uh, Go get a code from GameStop and get yourself a nice Mew. I just did that yesterday, and my Mew is awesome. I uh, soft reset it to get a ne uh, pretty decent one. Max HP, max attack, max speed. So that's nice. It has a, I think, Adamant Nature, which is nice too. It's not super nice because you kind of want to maybe have a... What? Okay. <laughs> Faulkner always says something really weird, and I never catch it, so I had to pause there. But it, uh, Mew can learn every Pokemon attack besides, like, Draco, Meteor, and, like, Secret Sword. And it, all its stats are level 100, so... Or its base stats are level 100. Not level 100, just at 100. So that's kind of nice. So you can really make Mew into any type of Pokemon you want. Which is really cool. But... I'm just going to bite this Pidgey twice in a row, and that's all she wrote for this Pidgey. Faulkner's, Faulkner's really easy. Faulkner is a gym leader in the center region. Um, might as well just leave it out there, screw it. I think he has Roost on this thing, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to use Leer. What level is this thing? Level 13? Yeah. If you're at my level, you should be fine. I'm just going to Leer it a couple times, because... I know it's going to roost, so might as well get some defense. And then if Totodile gets knocked out from a crit or something, I can just send it my Pidgey and get the kill, or the faint. 
Uh, one more Leer should be enough, then I can heal up. I don't think a crit can knock me off from this range. Nope. Alright, let's go. Now we heal up, because we are cheat like that. We are cheaters. Potion, god the potion is terrible. Look at this, it's already like, just too weak of a potion. I already need a super potion. The super potion, never buy super potions. Terrible item to buy. They're way overpriced. Way overpriced. When you need a hyper potion for uh, twelve hundred poker dollars, like it that does four times the amount. Yep. So here's this roost cheese. This is some cheese, right? This roost, especially this early in the game. That's so annoying. If you have a fighting type Pokemon, like I don't know why you'd have one, but if you have a fighting type attack, um, use your fighting type attack against it while it's using roost because then it's just a normal type. Once a flying type Pokemon uses roost it's um its flying type ability gets taken away so it's just a normal type or whatever type it is. For like a Pelipper for example it would be just a water type. And tackle. Maybe he's not going to pull out the cheese against me. Yeah. Oh look at this I win! I don't get a critical hit. Oh, I win. Look at that. Toad it out. Coming in clutch. My boy. My boy. Toad it out. Let's go. Get up a level. Yeah, my boy. Level 14. I understand. I ball. I'll ball. Let's see. For pity's sake, my dad's cherished bird Pokemon. That's the line. He's using his dad's Pokemon against you. He's older than you. Yeah, I, I, as a kid, when I played through um, Gold and Silver, and whatever, Shiny Gold, I think there's a hack that came out, I was always, like, just didn't know what a Zephyr is until, like, I looked it up. It's like some bird or something, I don't know. And there is, holy smokes, that person is trying to dry their hands out. I, I think I know who that person is. If you can hear that um, annoying, like, blowing sound, and as you can see, you can walk out here. But if you hear, ever hear that annoying blowing sound, yeah, that's just a air blow dryer from the the public bathrooms on my floor. But I guarantee I know who that person was. But here's Professor Elm. He wants me to go with the Pokemon, pick up an egg. All right. Good thing it's right here. You might as well come over here if you're right here by the gym. And this man looks like a scientist. I'll take care of your egg for you there, sir. After you left, the professor received a phone call. Yeah? Okay. Please take care of it. You know what? I'm going to try my best. You got anything for me? They don't know how to use man my items. No. Good to know. Oh, here we go. Throughout the game, we're going to be meeting these guys, or these gals. The uh, kimono girls, I think they're called. And they do their spinning dancing thing. And at the end of the game, I don't want to spoil anything, but you have to fight them all. And they're all really strong. It's kind of, probably one of the hardest fights in the game. I've lost to them before. I'll admit it. But we are going to heal up our pokes. Because we're just cool like that. And we're going to move on to the next route here. What route is this called now? Gotta head off to our second gym badge. That's awesome. We already have our first gym badge in our heart gold playthrough. It's awesome. A long ways to go. It's a long game. We got 15 more badges to go. But, uh, ooh, apricorn tree. I always just pick them. Why not? Yellow apricorn. I don't know what that. I think that gives you a friend ball or something like that. I don't know. I have no idea. I can hardly guess. Route 32. And we already got our um, rock smash from that one guy, so. Make sure you have that. Training at the gym. Take this. Oh yeah, uh, Game Freak or Pokemon, whoever. They knew that Chikorita was really bad, so this guy gives you a Miracle Seed to just help Chikorita out. But uh, this is the next route, Route 32. We're gonna be exploring this route in the next episode.
in part seven, lucky number seven. So I hope you guys enjoyed our first gym fight, and I'll see you all next time.